once I got involved, I found out kind of at the time if, uh, <clears throat> you know, John Deere had all the records so you could, you could, you couldn't fake a rare John Deere tractor because the archives. And so for about 10 years, I had what everybody called them green binders. I just, I just basically deal with John Deere's. And going out, I passed over a lot of the pre-30 stuff and kind of a mistake at the time, didn't nobody want them. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so once I got over to John Deere's, I, I kind of started picking up some of the, the earlier stuff. Got a H high crop. Got a a BN W or a BNH, which is a high crop single wheel, and uh, the H high crop, A high crop. Uh, I had a BWH forty, and I had a B, I had a BWH, and uh, but you know at BWH forty there was just uh, there was like just twelve of them built, and so I you know I had one of twelve and sold it back to the man I bought it from, and he gave me twice what I paid him. I had it, I had it, I had the tractor for four years. Wow. And it doubled. Well, uh, there again, that was my buddy in South Dakota, and uh, uh, him and his wife would go to Florida during the winter, and during the year I would, you know, buy four or five tractors, and so on the way down he would drop them off, and then, uh, Consimi, is that the way you pronounce it, Florida? They, you know, they have the two-wheeler, or, or the, the flywheel shows, and oh, yeah. there, there's like a month of stuff that you can do. So they would go to Florida, and he'd buy stuff, then go back to South Dakota. And so anyway, he called, and he said, hey, I got, you, I got you loaded, and I got room for one more tractor. And uh, he said, I got to pick up a 320, and, uh, and uh, Indiana, I sold a man, he, won't, he don't want it because it's got the wrong wheels on it. And at the time, I really wasn't into the, the that series tractor, and, but he said, I think it's an all fuel. And I knew that being a 320 all fuel, it would be one of a few. And it's like, uh, what do you want for it? And he told me, and I said, well, just, I wanted my other four tractors. I said, well, just go and pick it up and come on. And so after I got it, uh, at the time I was, a, you know, I got the green magazine and the two-cylinder magazine. Well, one of them happened to run a story on the 320s, and they give it the production numbers, and on a 320 all-fuel, they built two. And so I've just let it sit over in the corner. Didn't nobody know about this one. And it had a rough life. It actually, uh, uh, <clears throat> when, it was <clears throat> when it was new, it went to Mexico City, Mexico. It was exported, and my buddy in South Dakota got it in Canada, and then he brought it to South Dakota, and it went to Indiana, and then it finally landed here in Tennessee. So. 